Welcome to Bitty Bum Boutique TV. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute butterfly um, ribbon sculpture hair clip. Um, I've done this video before, but the quality, um, again, like I've been saying, um, was just not as good. So now that I have new equipment, um, I will be doing some of um, my most popular videos over. And if there's one that um, you enjoyed but would like to see it in a little bit better quality, don't forget to comment and let me know. Um, so let's get started with the supplies we need for the butterfly hair clip are some different lengths um, and patterns and colors of ribbon um, are going to make your butterfly um, unique to what you create. So for this one, um, this is the color scheme I've chosen, but there's lots of color options and, and designs that you could do um, since you because you're going to need two pair of wings and then the body and then the antennas. So your um, color combinations are are endless. You're going to need um, 3 8 inch wide ribbon for one of the sets of wings and uh, so I just chose this polka dot and this one is cut to 14 inches and then you could do it with um, both pieces that with 3 8 inch wide ribbon I'm just choosing to do it um, with two different widths um, but you could do it either way I've done it both ways so this one is a quarter inch wide ribbon and it's cut to 13 inches so it's one inch shorter than the um, bottom layer of wings. So you're having the two layer of wings, the top one's an inch shorter than the bottom. So 14 inches and 13 inches. You're going to need an alligator clip um, lined to whatever color you want because you will see it a little bit. You're going to need a piece of 3 8 inch wide ribbon or it can be any width ribbon because we're going to cut that the edges off to make the antennas. And then you're going to need a little piece of corker ribbon, about two or three curls. Um, this one's a little longer, so we're going to cut it, um, and that's going to be the body of your butterfly. You're going to need a lighter, um, an alligator clip to hold on to the pieces of ribbon when you're making the antennas, scissors, and of course your handy glue gun. And this, again, this fine tip one that I have, um, the Surebonder brand comes in very handy when you're making these little um, creatures and um, different little ribbon sculpture clips um, just because the small amount of glue that comes out is is really good. So we're going to um, start with our bottom layer of wings. So this is a 14 inch piece of ribbon and we are going to make all four wings with the one piece. We're not going to cut it and do another set. So what you're going to do is you're going to make that go right into making that figure eight shape just like that and you're going to uh, make one loop, bring it around and go over the top for your second loop, bring it around and go under for the third loop, and then your last loop, that end piece, you're going to just tuck under oops, that top layer there. Just so you don't see the end. Oops. It's got to go that way. Oops. There we go. Just like that. So then you have four wings. You might need to adjust them a little. You can either start over or you can just kind of pull on them and push on them. This is where it sometimes is easy to just take your alligator clip so you can kind of hold that in place but then you can still kind of gently pull on them and get them even. So that looks about right and remember it's a butterfly doesn't have to be exactly perfect. So that's our our first layer of wings so now I'm just gonna um, pull the alligator clip off and but keep holding it with my thumb and my pointer finger and then just stick my glue gun in between all those layers so that we can get that attached. And this is just the way I do it. Um, you know, there's probably a more specific measurement way but this is just how it's easy for me. The glue doesn't want to come out. And once you have that all glued down, we're going to do the same thing with the skinnier ribbon. So I have white here, so you're just going to do the same thing. Make your figure eights 
um, which become the four wings. This one's going to go on top. And remember this one is an inch smaller so your wings will be a little bit smaller. I think I did these a little too small. <laughs> so let's start over there. A little bigger. That looks better. And just keep wrapping it around to get all four of those. Remember, you're just going to tuck that piece in there. You don't have to do that, but um, just makes it, you know, gets it out of the way. But you are going to cover it, so it doesn't really have to be tucked in there. Once it looks like you have them all even, again, you're going to just get your glue gun in between those layers so they stay in place. And I just do one side, turn it around to the other side just so we know we have it all in there. Okay, so now we have our two layers of wings. We're going to go ahead and attach the white layer to the to the blue layer. So it's going to look like that. And that's why I like using the skinnier ribbon for the top layer so then it doesn't hide the um, doesn't hide that the bottom layer, you know, too much. Doesn't take over. So you can kind of see both of them together. Okay, so now we have um, it's going to go on our alligator clip like this. So we're going to go ahead and glue that on there. Just put some glue right here in the middle. Attach the... You're going to kind of Put it all the way down to the end like that. Oops, that's totally crooked. Need to pay attention. There we go. Make sure that's straight on there. And then we're going to go ahead and do our antennas before we add our body. And for the antennas, this is going to be the trickiest part of the whole bow. You're going to cut off I'm going to hold it first. We're going to cut off this the sides of the ribbon because we don't need the middle of the ribbon. The antennas are just this the sealed like ends, you know, of the grogain ribbon. So you're going to cut off both sides like that. And then this is where your um alligator clip is going to come in handy because this is really tiny and it'll be helpful to hold it with the alligator clip. So you can see um, the cut, the side I cut is on this side and that's the side that I'm going to put the heat up to. So putting the heat is going to make the antenna curl. So I'm just going to start right up here at the top and you just, you don't even have to get all the way close all the way up to the ribbon, just slowly go up to it until it starts curling and you'll see that it'll curl like that and you just kind of have to go in and out and play with it like that. Just like that. And you can make it as curved or as straight as you want and sometimes it does you know, mess up and you have to start over, um, but that's okay you're not using that much ribbon anyways. So there's one and we're going to do the other side and again you want to make sure you're doing it on the side that you cut which this piece I can't really tell but I think it's this side. <laughs> and you're going to do the same thing just get right up to it and just kind of go in and out until you get it how you want it and you want them to you know kind of match so they'll go like that. So obviously these are a little bit too long so we're going to be cutting those but it is easier to work with a longer piece and then just trim it um, as opposed to having a little short piece um, to work with. So we're going to kind of, you just want to take one and oops, lay it up to where you think you want the antennas to go 
and then that way you know about how much you want it to trim. So I'm going to do them about like that. So I'm just going to trim off a little bit because I'm going to you know, stick it down in there so you don't see the end. So I just trimmed a little and then when I glue it, I'm going to pull this back, the wing back, and I'm going to glue it up under that wing so that you don't see the end and it'll kind of go like that. And if you want them shorter, you can, you know, make them shorter. There's no um, definite length for that. You do want to get a decent amount of glue up in there to put it on. And then just kind of push it in there with your finger. And then once you lay the wing back down, it's going to help keep it in place also. And then we're just going to do the other side. Just trim again, just trim a little bit off. Pull that wing back. Add some glue. Oops. Make sure it's going the right way. And then just stick that in there and then push the wing back down. So could you see, you saw what I, I pulled these back and then now the ends of the antenna are down um, inside there like that. So those are nice and secure and then now all that's left is adding our cute little piece of corker ribbon and that's gonna you know again kind of hide that part of the antenna. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna leave three of these curls. So I'm gonna cut off two of them and you do want to make sure you heat seal the end of the corker ribbon. And if you don't know how to have corker ribbon, I do have a video. It's very simple to make. Um, so check that out um, on my channel. And it'll teach you how to make the corker ribbon. Again, we're just going to heat seal this end. Okay, so we have, that looks like about right. So I'm just going to run a um, some glue right down, mostly right on the wing here, on this white wing. I'm going to run some glue right there and that should be plenty to keep this corker piece in place. And then we're just going to kind of push it down gently because you don't want it to be flat. Just like that. And I'm actually I'm, I'm going to trim a little bit more of this off because it will be kind of in the way when you're opening and closing the clip. So I did, I'm just going to trim a little bit like that. So now it's easier to open and close that. And there you have it. Oop, now I think this is a little long, sorry. I'm a perfectionist so you don't have to do this. Your butterfly can be just how you want it. There we go. It was a little long for me. So there's a really cute butterfly, not very difficult to make, um, just a matter of um, just spending the time. It you know, does take a little longer because it is a unique bow. So you just have to have the patience. And like I said, you can make these in so many different colors. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.